Man Alex, you make a pretty girl and a gorgeous model, my friend said as he snapped more photos of me. The comments forced me to blush and smile like a girly girl. Not like I have much a choice now, darling, I meekly responded. The effects of this potion are simply too strong. I remember being a man but can only think like a lady now. Really, how so? I can only think of things that an elegant lady such as myself can do. Speaking softly, being well-mannered, that I should only wear dresses, how to sit, and how to walk in heels. My mind is constantly bombarded with the most feminine thoughts, like how beautiful these flowers are or how pretty I look at all times. Fascinating. Any other noticeable effects? Well, I have the biggest crush on you now. Really, how are you so open about that? Well, a lady never lies. What would you say to me taking you out to dinner then? I blushed profusely and tilted my head as excitement ravished every fiber of my being. For such a cute boy to ask me out on a date. It sounded like an absolute delight. Only if you buy me flowers first, I giggled as I winked at him and blew a kiss. My friend chuckled, clearly enjoying this unexpected turn of events. He quickly retrieved a bouquet of vibrant, fragrant flowers from a nearby table and presented them to me with a flourish. For you, my dear, he said with a playful grin. I accepted the bouquet with a graceful curtsy, the feminine instincts taking over me completely. The scent of the flowers overwhelmed my senses as I held them close to my chest, feeling like a true lady. Thank you, kind sir, I replied, batting my eyelashes in a flirtatious manner. With that, we made plans for our dinner date. As we walked together, my newfound elegance and femininity surprised even me. I moved gracefully, my heels clicking gently on the pavement. Every movement felt delicate and deliberate, as if I had been a lady all my life. During dinner, we chatted about everything and nothing, our laughter filling the air. My friend was a perfect gentleman, holding my chair, ordering the finest dishes, and showering me with compliments. I reveled in this newfound experience, savoring each moment as Mark, the transformed young woman. As the evening came to a close, he walked me to the door and leaned in for a soft, sweet kiss. It was a moment filled with a kind of magic I had never imagined. The potion had changed me in ways I couldn't have foreseen, but it had also brought us closer together. I watched him depart, still feeling like the elegant lady I had become, and I couldn't help but wonder what other surprises life had in store for Alex now Amanda, the girl who had discovered a new world of femininity, love, and unexpected adventures.